That ain't no Ragavan. All right. I want to know, is there an enchantment deck in this format? I'm guessing probably not. I'm guessing I should... What? Huh? Oh. All the... Yeah, wait. <laughs> All the cards are rares. All right, well, let's try it, chat. We're here for a good time. Mm, zero enchantments in the pack. A lot of good cards. Shreddy, Sphinx. This is probably Dece. Headliner, Shards. Fall. Cobra. Eh. The Aura, oh, the, uh, the Squirrel sh Sanctuary or whatever. Should I just take this? I don't know, man. Yeah, the Bone Shredder is surprisingly... Um, well, maybe not surprising, but it's not as insane as you would think initially. <laughs> Why do I want to force this? Ah, fine, I'll just take the goddamn Calibrated Blast. People not read this card? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have to imagine Junkwinder would be really good in this deck too. In fact, Blue has some decent enchantments, right? Junkwinder's really good, IMO. Yeah, maybe we go Bant. Bant enchantments. <laughs> oh, that feeling when you're building around a 1 2 for 2. God, you can't even get back Sithis with uh, a Biting Grace. Lame. <laughs> uh, Why well, you know cost one mana? Is there a good way to tutor for her? Oh, that's right, Sterling Grove. Ooh, I should... Yeah, I'm gonna take Sweep. Disciple looks good too, to bring back Sithis, but Sweep is real nice. I mean, there's the Scrappling for the uh, Abiding Grace. I'm guessing I should probably just take the Kolos though. This probably is not a very high pickup, right? Yeah, I'll get that later. Kolos, Golos, same thing. Oh, Imperial Recruiter, sure. That is a red mythic though, so... It's a nice pickup here. Little Razor Tide Bridge, I on it. Look at this, currently I can draw a whole two cards with Sithis. Maybe a little bit more. Because I guess this can re-trigger, but... Ferrari's Wake. Two cards, two life, too easy. Hmm. So, think about this chat. You cast Sphinx, it cascades into Sithis. That's basically a tutor. Wow, wow, wow. Good wheels. This looks like a neat start. Hey, shiny. That's an enchantment. To drop green? No, 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 no. I don't think you understand. I first picked it. The way to draft is you open your cards, you take your first pick, and you hold. You diamond hand. I think this is a known fact. And then you open a Ragavan so that it doesn't matter what you do in the draft. 
That's not a Ragavan. I'm just going to take another Junkwinder here. Once again, zero enchantments. Never lucky. The only true brick to cascade into right now is the sweep of the skies. <laughs> I'm taking it. I don't care. Don't care. I know it's going to wheel. Don't care. <laughs> uh. Uh, couple land cyclers here, bridge, late to dinner. Do I not want late to dinner over it? It's true. This is kind of like a tutor. I think late to dinner is very good though. Let's see, I can cast this for three mana, get two one ones, cast this for four mana, potentially get three one ones. It is, yeah. If you bring, if you late to dinner your junk winder, it triggers immediately since uh, you get the uh, token at the same time. You just need a way to discard the junk winder then. Again, probably gonna wheel that, but why wouldn't I just take it? <laughs> I got the Sithis, I got the presents, I need my Sterling Grove now. How many enchantments am I at? One, two, three, four, five. Easy. Sanctum Weaver. Oh, is that the Mana Dork? Yeah, that one would be real good too. I want Mirari's Wake and Upheaval. How hard can that be? Pretty decent pack. I mean, there's an enchantment here. I'm guessing, though, I should probably take one of the creatures now instead. This has to be a solo migration, right? It's just too good with late to dinner and too good with the double junk. I'm sorry, seal of removal. I'm sorry! Okay, another late to dinner. Oh, the strider wouldn't be terrible. Another razor tide bridge would be fine. I think I just go with a second late to dinner. I've always been happy with this card. And now we can prioritize getting like the land cyclers a little bit higher. Wait, is she a wizard? Just a nymph. Can you imagine if this was a like a nymph wizard and you can tutor for it with wizard cycling? Oh yeah. I have five enchantments, right? That's plenty. One, two. Oh, <gasps> chat! Oh, I mean, solo migration is a better card here for a good deck, but I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> it is three of the rare enchantments. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I'm never discarding a card. I should probably just take removal here, Lens Flare. Spinner's real good with Junkwinder too, but kind of low on the removal front, so. <laughs> Uh, I like my abiding grace in this deck, by the way. Zero one drops and no relevance for the life gain. Uh, there's not like a one mana enchantment creature, is there? Bunch of artifact creature one drops. How, in fact, how many enchantment creatures are there in this format? There's the Manticore, there's the Oracle. Are there too many more than that? All right, the Sanctum, of course. Yeah, I guess this kind of counts. Didn't I just say I wanted to discard Junk Winders? How am I discarding them again? What does Grove do for me? Uh, other enchantments you control have Shroud. Hello, they can't target this. If they can't target it, it's going to live forever. If it lives forever, I'm going to keep drawing cards. Silly, silly. They're so shiny here. 
Uh, should I just take Rift Sower? Feels like the better pick, even though I do need enchantments. It's fixing in its ramp, though. You can't really go wrong with Rift Sowers. Mm, two, three, four, five. I'm only at five enchantments right now. Okay, I'm just going to take the shiny here. I don't need a third junk winder. It wouldn't be bad, but I don't need it. Uh, another Rift Sower. Wonder. A lot of my creatures are already full. Uh, yeah, I don't need Wonder. Could also just take Spinner. I don't think we've seen a single uh, captured by Legax, though. Disciple can get back, um, actually, can get back a lot of cards, so that's good. I guess we're not playing this Resurgent Belief. Another so, so Shiny here, another Soul of Migration, which I'm probably taking, another Bridge. My deck is so much better if I just cut the enchantments, but... I would like to win some games, and this these cards can do so. Hey, look, an enchantment. I only have one land cycling creature. It's not ideal. I think that was... There was just the one Orchard Spirit I saw, right? Hmm. I guess Cobra's kind of cuttable. It does make a token for Junkwinder, though. Up to six enchantments. <sighs> more tokens, more better, I guess. Probably don't need skill. <laughs> You're not an enchantment. All right. Cobra, yeah, probably. Realistically, I should just be cutting green and be a good blue-white tokens deck. But I mean, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Uh, God, I should just definitely be blue white. This sucks. Uh, and that's only for sealed, not draft. God, I should just be blue white. <laughs> this hurts so bad, though. Oh, man. Man, this is so sad. <laughs> uh, we just didn't get there in pack three, though. I did try. I'm upset. I'm upset, but I think I'm making the right decision here. I know. God, look at this. I have Sithis, Sterling Grove, and the Presence. But we didn't see a single captured by... Like, I mean, I don't... It's. <laughs> I have an okay number of enchantments. Right? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, that's not even that good. <sighs> I'm sad. That's true. I was taking bad enchantments over playables, and I still didn't get there. What a letdown. Utter letdown. Ah oh well. GG's. I tried. I even first picked it. 8, 9, 10, 11, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10 and 9 instead. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Ah, well. I think it's okay. You have to remember, land cycling is also discarding a card. 
of which I have three of those. Although a lot of times, if we have our land cycler, we're gonna, we're gonna want to be casting it on two, right? All right, chat. Before we start our matches with our failed Sag deck, want to do a shout out. Excited to announce that the stream has partnered with Ridge Wallets. Shouted them out last week as well. But oh, let me make sure again. I don't give off any information. <laughs> let me hide my cards here. But uh, exclamation point Ridge. Happy to be sponsored with Ridge Wallage, uh, Ridge Wallets this month. Month, man, I can't even talk right now. Um, if you haven't checked them out before, pretty darn nice. They sent me one that I've been using now instead of my old wallet. So check check them out here. I have the titanium cobalt version, and uh, yeah, in comparison to my old wallet, again, this is the biggest selling point for me here. I think it is literally half the size. What the hell? You know, you got your old school wallets with your DCI cards and stuff. Actually, my DCI card back there. But look at that, half the size. I know a bunch of people in chat were already saying that they have Ridge Wallets, uh, but if you want to check them out, they can hold up to 12 cards in that little slot there. All you have to do is you push on that little opening tab and your cards will pop out. Uh, there's a money clip in the back. There are a bunch of different types of money clips that they have uh, for the Ridge Wallet. Um, people were concerned about their cards being able to like fall out. I, so far, I have not had that problem at all. Um, uh, the cards are in there pretty darn well. So, in fact, like I said, I think it's easier to lose your your cards if your wallet fall if your old wallet falls upside down. Assuming you have one of those old standard ones. Uh, but yeah, check them out. Ridge wallets! Exclamation point! Newmont will bring you up a command. Uh, you can save ten percent off with code Newmont right now. Uh, great Father's Day gift, which is coming up actually what in three days. Uh, so you better get some fast shipping there. But it's a great. Great product, check them out, exclamation point Numot for 10% off your order. Uh, there's a 45 uh, day money back guarantee. Ridge is so confident uh, that she will like it. That again, you have 45 days to tr uh, try it out if you want to. Um, and you can send it back for a full refund if you don't like it, so. On the draw, oh, it's close. All right, YOLO. Um, Dark Scythe 22, thank you for the 18 month sub. Bo's Pants, thank you for the six months. Intrinsic, thank you for the 14 month sub. Bailey TRPT, thank you for the 15 months. And Log Log Login, thank you for the four month sub. Hello, friends. Why, I don't think this is a bad keep. If it didn't have the Land Cycler in it, I wouldn't keep it. We've drawn two of our three red sources in the deck. <laughs> uh, how good is that? I'm gonna go ahead and cast it out instead of holding up lose focus. Hey! Big ol' rating party from Reader Rabbit! Thank you, Mr. Reed. Hope you had a good streamerino. Also, if Reed is here, I heard you had a huge Filigree, what's its name? I need to make land drops here. We need to, let's chrome it up. Don't love not tapping, or rather not holding up counter, but. Wow, they still don't have anything, huh? Okay, what is going on? Am I running into a wrath? Meh. Let's get three one ones. Even if they wrath me here, I have late to dinner back on my soul of migration, and I can only um, nothing again. All right, well now I'm just gonna hold up counter. What's going on? They must be on like a five color nonsense, and they're just missing two three colors or something. Island? 
I'm going to discard my junk. <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> kind of like a wrath. Close game, well played. I think I'm just going to bring in another counter. Maybe cut a shiny. Uh, if you're joining from Reed's channel, we are playing uh, Modern Horizons Drafto. Decent enough hand. I can discard. Remember, land cycling is discarding. They still have a swamp in their hand. Persist, sure. You got yourself a 3 5. Oh, I tutored for a planes, didn't I? I didn't even play it. Oh, nah, no need to full greed. Let's make sure we get the tokens first before attacking, even though they can't even lens flare. Okay. I'm going to play a junk winder this turn. I'm a little bit concerned that they're going to discard their uh, their minus two, minus two dude. Vindicate. All right, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Now we can just uh, late to dinner the junk winder and everything's Gucci. Could late to dinner the migration and then junk winder as well, but I think I'd rather just get the junk winder itself here. And that should be a GG. I didn't want to run out both in case they did have the Wrath. Because I think that's the only way I'm losing, right? I, I want to make sure I have one in my hand. This is actually insane. <laughs> what a beating. Yeah, Junk Wonder is real nice in this deck. This hand's actually kind of bad. No artifact lands, no late to dinner, no token producer. Ugh. He says as he keeps it. <laughs> we'll go ahead and Kolos for our uh, mountain. Two, three, unblockable. Huh! Artifact drawn. Red is just for calibrated blast. I got swindled into playing it. Not really. How often do you think raiding parties stick around for the other person's stream? It really depends on uh, um, what's being raided. Like, entirely different games? Uh, far fewer than the same game, of course. But there's a, a Twitch uh, stat you can look up how much uh, overlap there is between like your stream and somebody else's stream. Um, I don't know if you can look for individuals. I think it just gives you like the top X overlap. Let me let me see if I can. Uh, is it insights? I think it's insights channel analytics. Learn more. Oh uh, yeah, I guess it only shows like the top five pages or something. 
Sphinx is nine, but yeah. Ooh, both of those are really good. Guess we'd rather have the late to dinner here. Uh, man. Is that even true? No, I guess I'd rather have sweep this, guys. Both, both fantastic there, though. Oh, wait. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> no, no, no. Remember, Gorilla Shaman does not kill creatures. If this could just kill any artifact, it would be pretty juicy in the format, for sure. Like a trade here, since we have Disciple. Do I want to sweep for some X, X one one or X one ones? No, probably not. We can just hard cast the junk winder next turn. I'm guessing that's probably what my lineup is going to be, right? Just hard cast junk winder and then sweep. Although ideally we're able to make tokens in the same turn, but we'll see. This is still a good card, I think. Especially if you're running like the crack opens and whatnot, or you have some of those uh, formation breakers. Uh, I think two might be the max. See, that's an interesting draw. Well, first things first, I'm the realist. And by that, I think I mean I'm going to attack for three lifelink. Okay, that's fine. I mean, they only have two cards in their hand. I guess I'm going to junk it up. The payoff here is huge. They don't have that much pressure on the board right now. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised to see like a Garth. Who knows why they're running five colors. Yeah, card type refers to any of the uh, types that Tarmogoyf would get larger from. So Legend is not included. Oh, is that a Yavamaya? See, one of the reasons I hate running Yavamaya in this format and uh, in my sealed earlier today where I was predominantly green, I didn't end up running it is because you end up um, helping the opponent a lot of the time. We're going to go blue, blue, white, green, red. Yeah, so now we're going to go Sculptor here. And now we're going to sweep the leg. It can target the bridge, but this is indestructible. If these lands were not indestructible in this format, they would be kind of unplayable. Like, sure, kill my spinner. It's done its job. I guess we're just going to shiny again. I don't think it's a problem that I attack first before casting sweep, since this is six toughness, so lens flare doesn't kill it. Do I even want to, though? I mean, they don't have double white. The uh, Furious card doesn't hit flyers, so... Oh, well, that gives me some nice... Uh, backup plans. I don't need to cast this. I probably shouldn't. But I'm greedy, and it also looks cool. <laughs> Oh wait, that wasn't even- I thought that was game two. I thought I was already up a game. Oh. I think I want another lose focus versus them. And it looks like the shiny is less important. They have a lot of creatures that don't even care about that. I've been really happy with lose focus in the format. I don't know why. The scalability just costing a single blue. I don't know. Like, two mana they can't pay unless they, uh, can't play unless they 
pay two, three mana, pay four, four mana, pay, you know. Yeah, I agree. And unlike Counterspell, it's a blue and one, right? So it's not even that hard to cast. <sighs> oh, I stopped doing math at five. Five mana is probably like 30. That's a pretty good cat jam. I think I can submit GIFs as emotes now. That's a pretty good one. There's a moment where you can see my ring light in my glasses, but... That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't accept it. Yeah, we'll keep it. Opponent is slow in five colors, so. Ah, don't talk to me about 9.1. Don't talk to me about anything ever again. No! Took my lens flare. All right, I guess I'm going to have to make two one ones next turn. They can't even cast all that much from my deck. It's just annoying that they're getting free damage and free treasures. Like, they have six mana next... They're going to, like, Garth next turn? I guess Garth I could just shiny, but... Still, point stands. Is that the best you can do? I think you're stinky for. I'm fine to keep that, I think. I'm not even going to attack with one. I'd rather have two blockers back just in case. All right, Mr. Rags. Good old money monkey. Bottle gnomes, that also resolves. It will be a little bit scary if they can sacrifice their uh, their slasher and make bottle gnomes, uh, whatever, golems. Um, a 7-7 seven, seven trampler. So hopefully they don't have like a helix or something here. Oh god, I really want to block this with four cards. And by that I mean five. But I think I'm just going to do four. The longer I wait, the more likely they're going to be able to do something nasty. That's fantastic, holy moly. Yes, yes, go, go. Card is so good. That would have been three indestructible four fours. No, thank you. All right, now we can start safely attacking. It feels like. Have I tried Popper? I have not. Leafy Dan, thank you for that twelve months of Prime. How soon do I just fire off a five mana three three Life Linker? I wonder. Probably now. Uh, it should be swapping. It's not wrong. It's just I'm in the middle of a sealed as well. So it will rotate after a little while. If they have another removal spell here, Rag is going to hit me. Okay. Well... I mean, they did draw a, a Foundry Helix eventually. I'm glad I traded for the Bottle Gnomes before that happened. So they're going to gain four, and they're going to hit me with the Rag. They're not going to have that much mana to work with, though. Um, all right, and they just ate a land. Great. Hmm. 
I guess I smash with all. They've got me on a four turn clock there. But I can outrace them. Oh yeah, I can outrace them. Well, I think they had the tragic fall in their hand on the turn they attacked with the bottle golems. And they were just hoping that I would triple block. Mm, Cauldra wouldn't beat us. Yeah, I have six toughness coming up. They could draw another Foundry Helix to kill me. They could draw a Kaleidoscorch. They could draw, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of things they could draw. But they have exactly one draw at it. If that card in their hand is not relevant. And that counter on that Rise and Shine was huge. Rise and Shine is so fun and sealed. Assuming you have access to four plus artifact lands or ways to make treasures, foods, clues. I don't know if they're thinking about something here. They're just <laughs> counting the dollar bills with the Ragavan. Okay, can you survive slash kill me? Because I've got a lot of flying cards here. Deece. See chat, we did have the enchantments, but blue-white was just so open. No! Oh, on the draw I would keep this. No, not again. Oof, okay. So, well, now I have to decide if I want to keep a one lander on the play. Similar hand, because I have the mutiny or mental journey. I'm not going to go down to five. This hand's just too good if I rattle off a couple lands. One ideally to start, because one gets us another. Ranger. Have not seen that card be played yet. Alright, slow land is fine. We'll take it. Really, we want to get some tokens on the battlefield before we uh, start throwing shinies, but what are you going to do? Magnock the Mighty, thank you for the four month sub. I know they have the Ranger, but. No, because I only need one planes. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I think we're. Uh... I think we can probably scoop that one up. All right. But from what we saw, that wasn't too concerning. Like, we just draw a fourth land there. I don't know, even know if we can lose. We just evoke late to dinner. What are you going to do? Uh, these shinies are a lot worse seeing the ranger from them, though. I just want to bring, like, a two drop in and maybe another counter. I guess I'll leave one in. Red is bad? It wasn't the red that killed me, it was missing land drops. <sighs> yeah, let's go down to six again. Okay. This hand has some good potential if we, again, just need to rattle off a couple land here. I guess we just want to naturally draw planes, right? Spinner into make 3 one, one tokens into junk winder is pretty good. And we just got mana screwed. I guess I'd rather them use smell fear on my parcel mirror.
Okay, I'm alright with the spinner dying. Makes them use two of their mana next turn if they want to smell fear. Right now, this is our game plan. Sure. Okay. So they don't get to adapt anymore. Um, but they can still proliferate onto it to give it double strike. It's going to be pretty bad for us if they just have, like, a captured by Legax. Really? I don't feel that dead. They're just going to play out their Constable this turn. I get to play Junkwinder, hold up Lens Flare. It doesn't seem that bad. Oh, wait. Right. God, I, I was thinking this was Affinity. <laughs> All right. Old. I mean, it is affinity, just not for artifacts. This is an important turn here, because if I get to untap with Winder, I get to evoke my Soul of Migration, double tap down. Yeah, that's bad. That's certainly bad. Am I dead here? No, not quite. Oh wait, I am dead here. Because this can eat. Rip. Mana screw! I blame mana screw chat! We just need one more turn. <laughs> Feels bad, dude. GG's. Good beats.